I'm Mark Oya. I'm Steve Stanford, and this is Art You Can Drive. Today on Art You Can Drive, 73 Chevy C10. So you know, Stevie, obviously this truck, you know this truck as much as I do. Oh yeah. You know, and this truck's pretty cool because some people might not consider this to be art, but there's other people that consider that this is the only art. Well, yeah, it's kinetic art as far as I'm concerned. And plus with the original paint that it, that it has, I mean, that's, that's the whole art. I mean, listen to how the paint's weathered and all that. These, these sort of artsy patterns as far as I'm concerned. It looks, it looks really cool. Well, and that's the thing, and this is the real deal. You know, like we get a lot of haters on the internet saying that it's fake and stuff, and it's not. No, not this and time. Not this time. This one's real, and, and uh, you know, I bought this truck from the original owner, mm -hmm. and so it's totally real on the outside. I think people are just jealous because everybody wants a barn find, and here you've got one. And so. Well, and I got lucky because I actually bought this before these things were cool. Oh, yeah. And I just bought it because I liked it, and actually at the time I didn't like the color but right. you know the thing is this is a wolf in sheep's clothing because this thing looks like an old bomb and it's all original but underneath it's not oh no i mean this it's a far cry from say the working man you know the you know salt of the earth you know farmer rancher that just bought these just you know just for they were just they were a tool i mean they were just for work well that's the thing and so underneath of this truck which you can't see mm -hmm. it has a four link in the back with coilovers it's got independent front suspension with a rack and pinion and we'll take a look under the hood, but it's got a leather seat, but it's done in the original sure, Moffat the original that it was supposed to be done. Right. And so it's got big disc brakes on it. So this truck rides and drives like a brand new truck, but we're back to the patina again. Exactly. It looks like an old truck. So let me show you what we did under here because this is pretty cool too. Ah, the surprise. Yeah, so this is what people don't expect to see when they open the hood on this because this is the original motor, but we rebuilt it, rebuilt the transmission. Mm -hmm. We put a supercharger on it, right. but it also has fuel injection. Oh yeah, and the neat thing is, I mean, the small block Chevy has been a mainstay in, you know, for, for Chevrolet since 1955 with the 265 V8, and it just kept growing and uh, with the Corvette, you know, and they had its iterations, but it's a, it's a steady, reliable power plant, and, you know, they're, they're, they're as simple as an anvil, and you know, especially when you, when you look at all the room in the engine compartment, mm -hmm. you know, it, there's, there's just so much, you know that that you can do with it and it's really easy to work on again it was for you know for the working man and so it, it needed to be practical but yeah. you but you romanced it quite a bit well we gave it a little bit of love absolutely you know and we wanted to keep the heritage of it mm -hmm. but also make it super cool because when you look at the outside of this truck you don't expect to see this when you open the hood sure and there's no plastic in here we didn't upgrade it to newer it's newer stuff but it's not newer and plastic it's old school it's like what you would have done in 73 if well, you did this truck plus i like the fact that it's, it's not like a lot of bling and chrome in there but yet it still looks bright and you know and, and, and cheery and hot riding you know it's, it's got the spirit of hot riding to it yeah it's definitely artsy i love it well this looks like the factory could have done it oh, and that's yeah. kind of what we were striving for you bet. so with that this is art you can drive well you know what that means <laughs> 